Mavis! Mavis! Mm. It's a blue you like, the brown out bloody bill. He can't bloody do any DIY. He's bloody useless. Oh, leave him alone. Look in between my eyes, Mavis. What do you see? Ooh. A big nose. <laughs> the big bloody nose. Monobrow. A, <laughs> a brain, Mavis. A brain. Oh, you know I can't see small things. You be the bloody death of me, you will. <laughs> that one is your breach. Look how fast that water's going out. My God, you're on the bottom of my back. You're going to be on the bottom, lads. It's millions of... Yeah. Luckily, it's going into a stream. Yeah, yeah. Solder, but you actually need a heat gun to solder them. Forever needing these connectors all the time. Yeah, pleased. Good day. My daughter's... Damon, you have to pay the Grain Mafia. Thank you, Sue. The Grain Mafia, thank you as well. It's like pellets inside, you know. It's like pellets. It's a taste couple. Mmm. Not too bad. Mmm. There we are. Well, they've, what they've done here is they've um, obviously they've put a temporary dam in. Don't look at it, shall we? Wow. That's what empty uh, canal looks like. Crikey. They're pumping it out. Got the fish out, I think. A lot of the fish. You got pumping it out. They've got a pump going to pump it out. Well, look at an old fishing net there, huh? Landing net. It's really clean, isn't it? There's no debris, no shopping trolleys, no no rubbish, nothing. No bodies. Nothing in there. Great. We, when we come down here at our own risk, but what risk is there, you know? It's piling here. Yeah, this barn co just here. It's quite deep here, look. It's just round here. Wow. That's the culvert that's gone. How deep that is! Blimey! It's gone under the armco. Yeah. Watch it, because the ground's cracked there. This was this was a torrent of the day. Unbelievable. I'm just. I've got this PRM125 gearbox, but it needs new seals. I'm just trying to assess what seals they are and how easy it is to fit them. That was leaking, that seal leaking that side, which I'm just draining the gearbox off. So it's done 500 hours. That was loose, actually. That coupling, the bolt was just, wasn't even finger tight. It was like that. So that was loose. That wasn't sealing properly. And this had been... This had been crushed, so it wasn't opening and closing. I see it now, lot. <sighs> I actually need stripping and replacing that, to be honest. That air vent, pressure vent. Now that I think of that is, so it's done 500 hours. It's had an oil leak on it. Uh, a friend of mine has had an upgrade on his gearboxes. Give me this to uh, to play with. So I've I've not stripped one before. Uh, I'd like to see how these these gearboxes work. Uh, I'm always fascinated by what's inside things, you know. Will I break it? Oh, God knows, you know. Give it a go, in it. Give it a go, and then just fingers crossed, note for the best, and all that, you know. Oh, there was not very good colour in there, is it? To be honest. Hmm. Intriguing. I don't know. How you get 
crack this. I don't want to start banging screwdrivers in it. Must be a prying point somewhere. There's still a bolt in it. That's why. I don't. I can't split this case without ramming a screwdriver in there. I don't want to do that. I'm trying to think if I can make something up. Like a bar across there. Um, if I can use a bar across there somehow to my pullers put a puller on it somehow so I can pull it pull it up you know what I did is put a spanner across there held that and just tapped it with like a little bit of hammer and it sort of sort of popped oh dear oh dear I've got a light I'm going to get some plastic something to wedge it up oh there it comes Right, I don't want to just pull it up. I want to see what's inside it first. The first look at inside a gearbox. No. Is something going to fly off? There we are. Inside your gearbox, Ripeth. There we are. Inside your gearbox. Wow. That's where your clutch lies inside there. There's nothing to it, is there, really? That should pull out. That output shaft should pull out. Let's take that gear off there. Ah, that's got an adjustment locking knot on it, that one. This has got to... This has got... Sorry, filming bad. Sorry, I'm too into looking at it. So that's inside your gearbox. Okay. So it has to be loose, doesn't it? Got to be a certain torque on that, I'd imagine. Sweet ATF sits. So the levels. Drain plug. I think, I believe that's probably your filler level. So you fill it up until it drips out of there, then you tighten that up. Looks like it. So it'd be immersed in that much in oil, just to there. Any more? It's too much oil and you get back pressure and the pressure relief valve which is here which I believe had a problem relieves that pressure there's too much oil in there or when it gets hot and whatever I don't know I'm just making it up such a beautiful well-made simple system all the casing's got a load of splurge on it so I'm going to have to get some splurgy splurge on that okay right kettle on I think this has got this has got to come off here in order to get this off to pop that seal out I think I could pop that seal out there maybe I could pop that seal out there with a screwdriver and pop that back in again with a socket um, so it's taking all it apart doesn't it Interesting, isn't it? It's very, very simple. Quite heavy. Very, very interesting. This is just a nut that's been tanged over, uh, over this shaft. I don't think any particular torque. I think you just go down till it's no play in it and tang it over. I'm hoping. I'm filming this for my own memory anyway. I can't see any thread lock on it. Probably just, you can't just tighten it. You can't just tighten it down willy nilly because they're, because they're a tapered bearing. They're too tight, it just blows blows them up. Got two tapered bearings on that one. Okay. Put you down in a minute. Two hands needed. Delicate operation. bearing these are like headstock bearings they're probably with the same bearings to be honest so one goes to there and that one's probably that can stay on there all I need to do is get that out there you go one I've been shafted one shaft that can stay on that can stay on there 
see that because I can't see you I'm filming that can stay on because that that would take some pulling off you know wow beautiful beautiful thing leave that like that all I need to do is get the shaft out so I can access that seal so I can pop that seal out with the correct size socket feels like a double lipped the seal's in good condition still but it's, it's leaking and if no it feels like it's um, rubbery and not god rock hard it's only 500 hours so there's the seal um probably the same with that side i have to pop this out maybe pop the shaft out but one thing at a time sweet jesus <laughs> hoping that the whole shaft will pull out like that there's an o-ring there there's an o-ring there okay spring loaded comes apart Ooh, no misses keep that in one place and this whole shaft can now come apart lot cool. there's your clutch there's your clutch and there's that beautiful seal can I get anything on it? No, I can't. No. That was a waste of time. This race is in the way a lot. This bearing, uh, this bearing cup. I could probably get an angle on there. Oh, as new condition, to be honest. Look at the crap on. Look at the crap on the bearings, lot, and everything. It needs to be cleaned off. Petrol cleaner. I could probably pop that out. It'll pop out with a screwdriver, but pop back in. So it's just getting it out, isn't it? With that, so I can see the numbers. Right, there we go. Whatever, isn't it? That's all just popped out. Look, that just popped out with a screwdriver. Got numbers on it. There's numbers. 40577 4052 so 40 would be the inner diameter 52 would be the outer diameter see the measurements there yeah it's so now 52 so 40 the inner is 40 the outer is 50 and it's, it says 11 there lot oh no there's 11 mil there lot so it's so it's 40 52 is that 7 to 11 oh I don't know I guess you could use a 7 mil thickness or an 11 mil thickness because it's the recess has got plenty of space and the shaft itself there was plenty of space for an 11 or a 7 so yeah I think 11 would be all right or a 7 would be all right so let's see what we can get off the internet this seal here just just literally pushed out you can tap it out look at the see that there look go into the gearbox this one is can you see that this will help people with prms this 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 video i think come on focus what's that say pioneer pioneer western Around about 30, isn't it? Because I'm just forget, don't forget I'm. Let's take it off a little bit. So it's just rested on there. 4130. 4130. Six, isn't it? It's a weird size. I can't believe I managed to get the seals locally. Uh, that was £2.50. That was about three quid. 40.52. NGKs, good quality seals from engineers. That was three pounds something. That was two pounds. I've got two sets. Um, one for my gearbox and one for the gearbox I'm doing. So I'm going to put this new gearbox onto my engine, and then take the my D2 120 and um, refurb that. Should be the same. I'd have thought. In actual fact, I just cleaned it with some brake clean. It's a lot easier. 
There's a few squirts of that, then off get the blows it all the crap off, you know. So it's got to wipe all this. This almost wipes off this old uh, gasket. It's a non never seals, you know. It never goes off. So right, clean that off. There's a clutch there. Can you see that clutch? It grabs that side and then goes to the other side and grabs that side. Forward and reverse. Let's try to clean, clean, get the grease off those. And off the gears. Clean all the bearings. I think that'll do. Kilos there in that in that uh, gear. Okay, I'll clean that one. I've cleaned this one inside. I think I've cleaned the gears. I think we're now for reassembly. Just hope I can do it. Remember how to do it. Got to get the seals and let it all dry. Have a cup of tea. I've got to take that out. Get a little bit more of that. Just double check, recheck, you know. You can see how the clutch moves from side to side and grabs grabs each gear you know grab that side then come to reverse it'll grab that gear amazing amazing beautiful machinery isn't it so you just fold them backwards it's dead easy isn't it I can't find a socket Big enough for that, I'm gonna have to use a center. I'm gonna have to use a punch, flathead punch to try and tap it down. You know, it's got to go, it's got it down to a recess right inside there, really. If you can see that, quite a bit down. So, go to my van and uh, see what I can get.
something very wrong. <clears throat> I've got to take it apart. This, no matter how much I try, where is it? This just will not go in, it's catching the gears. It's catching the gears inside. It's catching the gears lot, it just will not go in. I've done something wrong, right, take it apart again. I don't know what I've done. What has happened? What, why? What? Why is it not? That sealant's still sealing lot. Look at that. Wow. I have to redo that, on I? Damn it. Can I put this on first? Do I suppose put this on first? Before I put it in? Maybe I've got to put this on first. You know? Oh, this gear popped off. I can't remember which way it goes on now. Whether I put a Bearing there, bear, oh, bearing on there, bearing on top. I put two, I put the bearings on wrong. It should be that slides onto there, then a bearing there, then a, then a, then a, sorry, then a washer there, then the bearing on top. Ah, what I've done was I missed this, I missed this washer off here. You're supposed to put this washer on first, this washer on first, then that bearing on top, then clutch wheel then that washer goes on top of there then the bearing goes on top of there that's why I was catching that's why I was catching the um okay that was the, that was the mistake look at how I filmed it so oh panic or panic over I had to redo the sealant again so let's let's try again shall we oh, I bet these seals are all knackered now all this pissing about moving that thing up and down to, oh I hope not Okay, so it's back together. I'm hoping that's neutral, forward, reverse. When I took this off, this was this was just this was hanging off. This this was just a noose. A loose nut. Should it be loose? It should be tight, shouldn't it? Surely. If that touch touches to your yeah, it's got to be tight. Right, socket time. Okay. 